in an Eastern culture mindset, you would think in pictures and images and metaphors. They think in abstract principles and abstract theological ideas, not lists, not always logical. Leviticus 16 is this picture. Jewish belief taught that when you disobey, when you rebel against God, when you miss the mark, these sins are debts against God. God had set down these laws, and when you disobey them, then you're indebted to Him. The Jewish people believed their sins were forgiven, and records of sin would be blotted out on the Day of Atonement. I want you to grasp this Day of Atonement, what it meant for the Jews then and what it means for us now. A shofar, this big horn would blow, dun, da, 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 and it would signal God saying, all right, people, pay attention. I need you to pay attention. And there would be these 10 days of awe, 10 days of soul searching, 10 days of looking deep inside, 10 days of fasting, 10 days of getting ready in anticipation of the Day of Atonement. They would begin each year looking deep within their souls, examining how they had fallen short of God. And they would spend this time fasting and meditating and thinking of all the ways they had broken God's laws. The Day of Atonement centered around the actions of someone called the High Priest. He was this mediator who represented the people of God and prepared a way by which they might approach God. This priest would go in and he would find a way for God to forgive them and have their sins covered over on this Day of Atonement. The word atonement means to cover over. He is to take two male goats for a sin offering and present them before the Lord at the entrance to the tent of meeting. He is to cast lots for the two goats. One lot was for the Lord and the other for the scapegoat. There are two goats. One is offered and one is the scapegoat. In issues of sin, there is the covering over of sin, which is atonement, and then there is removal of sin. It is one thing to have your sins covered, and it is another thing to have them removed. That is what it means to live the atoned life, covered and removed. Now the Hebrew word for scapegoat is azazel. The general idea of the Azazel is that the scapegoat is going to carry the sins of the people out into the wilderness on the Day of Atonement. So one goat is sacrificed here on the altar to cover the sins. And then one goat, the scapegoat, is going to carry the sins of the people and walk away with them to remove them. Remember, God is a God of pictures. All of the sins of that community have been placed they believed on that goat. They literally believed that God was capable of removing their sin. They actually believed that when the goat left, their sins left with it. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. And the soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Here is your king. Pilate said to the Jews, but they shouted, Take him away. Take him away. The soldiers then led Jesus outside the city with, I believe, the sins of the world being placed upon him. Jesus is our Azazel. He is the one that covers and removes our sin. He sacrificed himself once and for all, summing up all the other sacrifices in this sacrifice of himself, the final solution of sin. We have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Jesus is our Azazel.